Hey everyone, it's Strongle here and I have a new update for the Mindscape add-on, downloadable right now. In this video, I'll be going over bug fixes and changes as well as new additions, but before I get into that, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing. Uh, interacting with everyone and seeing people enjoy my content is what motivates me to continue my work and I appreciate your support. One more thing. Uh, from here on out, since things might get a little confusing with all the new additions to the game, I will be releasing a guide world, which I'm on right now, that will be updated with new, uh, with each new Mindscape update to reflect changes made. So if you need help on how mechanics work and want to go at your own pace, that download link is in the description. And one more extra thing before we start, please be aware that this add-on is still a very large work in progress and items in it may change or be completely removed at times until they are set in stone. Also, I said this last time, but I've been seeing my add-on show up on other sites. Please do not redistribute the direct download link and only send the link for Thai section if you are reposting my add-on. Thank you. Okay, so real quick, the first thing you're going to want to do if you have my previous version is to go into your resource and behavior pack folders and delete the older versions because they use the same ID. If you need help with that, what you're going to do is go onto Windows and you go to the start menu and type in C backwards C colon backwards slash users your PC username. I'll go ahead and enter mine. Then press enter. And now we're gonna have this folder here. You're gonna go to app data. Click on that. You're gonna click on local local. Blah, blah, blah. Click on package. Whoa, whoa, what am I doing? Click on local. Click on packages. Look for Microsoft UWP. Click on local state. Games. Com. Mojang. And then you're gonna want to go into your behavior packs folder. Delete the Mindscape add-on that's in here. And then go to your resource packs folder and delete the one that's in here. Once you've done that, it should install correctly, uh, and then you should be able to just run it in your world. Uh, I won't be able to show you how to get to the files on if you're on a mobile device or other device, um, but I have left a link to a Minecraft.net help page that will help you how to access your files in the description, so make sure to check that if you need it. Alright, so with all that out of the way, let's go through some bug fixes. There's really only two. Uh, the uncommon and rare loot bags had an issue where logs would sometimes drop unusable, and the chunkin could not be healed with the right items. That stuff is all fixed now, or it should be fixed. So you shouldn't run into any issues where you're getting logs that just are completely useless and don't stack. Okay, moving on to new features, and by the way, this is all in the guide world, or well, this is the guide world. Let's start with the Ender Dragon sets. So if I hit this button, this whole hallway has everything to do with the Ender Dragon armor sets. And these books and lecterns around here will tell you everything about the corresponding armor pieces or section that you're in. So the Ender Dragon armor is a new endgame armor set to go after that drops from the Ender Dragon, obviously. The Ender Dragon has a chance to drop full armor pieces, full tool sets, dragon scales, or empty crystals. And you can see right here, we've got dragon boots, dragon plate legs, plate body, helmet, and then we have these weird looking ones. They're still plate bodies, but there's a W, S, P, and B. What these actually stand for is weakness, slowness, poison, and blindness. And each of them will do a certain effect. And in this case, these will remove these effects. So with this chest plate on, with the, with, with the weakness one on, you're now immune to the weakness effect. With the slowness one on, you're immune to slowness. With poison, you're immune to poison. And with blindness, you're immune to blindness effect. And over here we have a better visual on armor stands of all of the armor pieces. We have boots, plate legs, plate body, helmet, and then the four other variations of the plate body. And now, if we go onto tools, we've got the dragon sword, dragon pickaxe, axe, shovel, and the hoe. And they, these tools are a step above netherite tools, so they are going to be working faster. So these are going to be like the new endgame uh, tools you go for. And then over on this side we have the 
better visual of them. We have the sword, pickaxe, axe, shovel, and hoe right there for you. And then if we move on to the empty crystals, uh, crystals are a new item dropped from the ender dragon. You'll start off with an empty crystal and you'll then need to craft one of the four following crystals to infuse them with power. These can then be socketed into the ender dragon plate body in order to imbue them with the crystal's power. So right here we have an empty crystal, poison infused crystal, weakness infused crystal, blindness and slowness infused crystals. And then if we look in these books, we actually have the crafting recipes for them. I gave a little uh, number code here with a little bit of help and a guide. So it's going to be four potion, poison potions, four spider eyes, and then the empty crystal will go in the middle. So let me actually show you guys really quick. Give at S um, empty crystal potion, I believe it's... 25 right it's four poison potions and then spider eye four. yep uh i don't have a crafting table you do and by the way uh any of the potions in these these are all going to require potions uh first off uh, any of the potions are all going to be the tier 1 versions. Don't make any of the higher tier ones or the uh, craft will not work. Yep, here we go. And then poison infused crystal and we get 4 empty glass bottles back. And then over here is just another visual of all of the crystals on the armor stands. And now if we go over here to the uses of the crystals, all we have to do to socket it is put a put one of the empty plate bodies next to the crystal in the crafting menu and then voila we will have the corresponding plate body and I think this can be done in any menu yep dragon plate body of poison you can put it on right there and now I am immune to the poison effect so if I go back into survival mode effect at s poison you know what, let me do Fatal Poison. 20, 10, true, nothing happens. Well, nothing happens because I, <laughs> I did the wrong identifier. Okay, see, it gave me poison. That should probably kill me pretty quickly. Um, but it did nothing. So if I take this body, I just played off. And let me give it to myself again, just so you see. Yeah, yeah, because that's going to kill me pretty quickly. But now I'm immune to it. And this will work for all of these plate bodies. Uh, just a, another reminder for you guys, these are subject to change. Uh, so they might change in the future. I should have some ideas where I think they will be changing. Because I think it is a little bit overpowered uh, for you to be able to just put one of these on a chest plate. And then like, ah, I'm immune to poison. But anyways, uh, that's not going to be until later. Moving on, we have the Dragon Scale and the Dragon Ingot. Now, the Dragon Scale is a new item in the game that can be smelted into a Dragon Ingot and turned into various armors and tools from the Ender Dragon set. So right here, let me go back into creative. We have the Dragon Scale and Dragon Ingot. The way to use the Dragon Scale... You're going to use a furnace or a blast furnace. Well, let me give myself coal. And you're just going to smelt it in a furnace or blast furnace. And then just wait for that to finish. And it will turn into a dragon ingot. Now, of course, all the crafting recipes for any of the armor pieces and tools is going to be exactly the same as it is in vanilla. I don't know why I did that. There, so I have six of these. Show you real quick. Craft a dragon helmet like so. And I can put it on. And then this is going to be it for the ender dragon armor set. So let's go ahead and move on over to the wither set. So I'm gonna hit this to go back into the uh, sort of like main hub area of the map and go to wither 
And then here we have, uh, it's going to be, say, basically the same thing as the Ender Dragon armor set, but it's going to be for the Wither, so we can forget about that for now. We have the Wither Boots, Wither Plate Legs, Plate Body, and Wither Helmet. Now the Wither Plate Body, just like the uh, upgradable Ender Dragon Plate Body, uh, has a special effect, and it's going to be that you are immune to the Wither Effect skill. Or the wither effect, I don't know why I said skill. Um, and then over here we have a visual, we have the boots, plate legs, plate body, and the helmet. Um, right here if I can take this helmet, thank you. Ah, I can't put it on like that. If I put it on, put myself in survival, make sure I typed at S and not 2S. Give myself the wither effect, 10, 10. 20 true and it worked but I'm immune to the weather effect which means I am safe so that's a nice little uh, addition to the game uh, this armor and the ender dragon armor will be providing the same amount of protection so it's gonna be your choice to kind of pick and choose what you wear um, so just keep that in mind and then moving on to the sword or the wither sword uh, the wither swords a unique weapon uh, while it does the same damage as a netherite sword, so keep that in mind as well. The ender dragon sword does one extra damage on the netherite sword. The wither sword will be doing the same damage as a diamond sword. But, it also comes with this added effect of doing putting the wither effect onto any mob you hit. Uh, of course, this won't affect mobs that are already immune to this effect, being the ender dragon wither and wither skeletons. But, it does have a nice little touch, so if I summon a horse can hit it it's going to be given the wither effect and the damage over time if I hit it again it's gonna die but it's a nice little effect you can use and then once again these are all gonna be crafted the exact same way and then over here's a visual of it and then like the ender dragon we also have the withers uh, assortment of items and whatnot so we have the wither remnants which are dropped from the wither and then you smelt it into wither ingots and used to craft uh, armor or the wither sword. Um, so you already know how to smelt these and everything. So I don't think I really need to show that. So let's go ahead and go back. And then, right, let me show you guys the loot bag section. So of course I have the loot bag section in here. And if you go in here, you can see what all the drops are for every single loot bag. It's nice and handy. You can also see what mobs are classified into what tier and what the exact drop rates are of loot bags. So for common, you can see all the mobs and you can see the drop rates of loot bags. Same thing over here. Well, these are just the party hats and then there's a display here for you guys to see it. <clears throat> and then if we go back here, I have a little chunkin section. Hmm. Uh, so it talks all about the chunkin and what you need to do with them and then it even has an area in here where you can Spawn some of your own and then tame them and you get to mess around with these in a uh, creative world sort of But Anyways, that's gonna be it for this update of course um, I will be doing updates on this over the next two or so weeks. I probably won't be adding anything huge um, I'll be looking to fix any noteworthy issues with the add-on and update textures and models until I find them to basically be perfect to me. Um, if you want to follow my updates closer, please be sure to join my Discord channel and subscribe. It will give you notifications whenever I upload something new. And if you find any bugs with the add-on and want to reach out to me, please let me know and join my Discord channel. I have a bug report section you can post in. Thank you, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.